continues now with our monthly visit with the Northern Indiana Community Foundation as we welcome Brian Johnson to the show. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Randy. How are you? I'm doing fine. How was your walk it over? Was, it was actually pretty pleasant yeah, for the yeah. forecast today. It's, it's nice breeze out there, not too hot yet. So <coughs> it's, uh, so it's 73 right now. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, enjoy so the morning. We will. It's going to. We will. It'll warm up this afternoon. There you go. Speaking of warming up, things are getting uh, warming up at the Community Foundation. Yeah, yeah, got a lot of things going on right now. So um, this is our, <coughs> kind of a, we'll call this our variety show because I think I have a little bit of everything and then some. That's what we like. We like variety. So we do, we do. So a few things going on. Um, a reminder, Fulton County Women's Giving Circle. We've started accepting grant applications for that group. Um, of course, we are asking um, for video grant applications. So kind of a fun way to yeah. show off your project, yeah. show off your organization. Three to five minute video explaining the project, a little bit about your organization. Sometimes and, those are easier. Than sometimes having to, they are. And having to type yeah. out kind of a, a description. You could, if you've got yeah. it kind of started or some ideas. You and can, you can be creative with yeah. that. And the thing that we really like about it, we get to see a little bit about mm -hmm. what the project is going to do or how it's going to how it's going to impact people and just make it personal. So we've had anywhere from one of my favorite videos was literally somebody that had staged a room and had information sitting at different pieces and they walked around with their phone holding it out doing a selfie. I know the folks on the radio yeah. can't see me right, doing right, my right. selfie impression here, but um, walked around and spent about three minutes telling what their project was about and it was really neat. Had some pictures cool. of the people that were impacted. Um, you get things like that. Um, we've had some drone footage. Um, flying around different areas, just a little bit of everything. So Use your imagination. And I've had, had a few folks over the last couple of years say, well, we don't know how to do this. And I say, well, do you have any kids involved in your organization? <laughs> because they do know and they're more than willing to help. So They love to play with that stuff. It, it's great to see this at all levels. So it's, it's a <laughs> three or five minute video. Um, and then we do ask for a budget page um, so we can get some financials and kind of show continues now with our monthly visit with the Northern Indiana Community Foundation as we welcome Brian Johnson to the show. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Randy. How are you? I'm doing fine. How was your walk it over? Was, it was actually pretty pleasant yeah, for the yeah. forecast today. It's, it's nice breeze out there, not too hot yet. So <coughs> it's, uh, so. it's 73 right now. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, enjoy so. the morning. We will. It's going to we will. It'll warm up this afternoon. There you go. So Speaking of warming up, things warm are getting uh, warming up at the Community Foundation. Yeah, yeah, got a lot of things going on right now. So um, this is our, <coughs> kind of a, we'll call this our variety show because I think I have a little bit of everything and then some. That's what we like. We like variety. So we do, we do. So a few things going on. Um, a reminder, Fulton County Women's Giving Circle. We've started accepting grant applications for that group. Um, of course, we are asking um, for video grant applications. So kind of a fun way to yeah. show off your project, yeah, show cool. off your organization. Three to five minute video explaining the project, a little bit about your organization. Sometimes and, those are easier. Than sometimes having to, they are. And having to type yeah. out kind of a, a description. You could, if you've got yeah. it kind of started or some ideas. You and can, you can be creative with yeah. that. And the thing that we really like about it, we get to see a little bit about mm -hmm. what the project is going to do or how it's going to how it's going to impact people and just make it personal. So we've had anywhere from one of my favorite videos was literally somebody that had staged a room and had information sitting at different pieces and they walked around with their phone holding it out doing a selfie. I know the folks on the radio yeah. can't see me right, doing right, my right. selfie impression here, but um, walked around and spent about three minutes telling what their project was about and it was really neat. Had some pictures cool. of the people that were impacted. Um, you get things like that. Um, we've had some drone footage. Um, 
flying around different areas, just a little bit of everything. So use your imagination. And I've had had a few folks over the last couple of years say, well, we don't know how to do this. And I say, well, do you have any kids involved in your organization? <laughs> because they do know and they're more than willing to help. So They love to play with that stuff. It, it's great to see this at all levels. So it's, it's a <coughs> three or five minute video. Um, and then we do ask for a budget page um, so we can get some financials and kind of um, see that the project is feasible. Um, and we have a page on our website, nicf.org. You can find that. It has instructions on there for how to go about completing a grant application. There's a spot where you um, put in information about your organization and then also you drop a video in. If anybody has any trouble um, doing that, um, the video sometimes can get a little bit complicated. So um, if you have trouble getting the video to us, reach out to Hannah at our office and she'd be more than happy to help you through that process. Um, and, and the applications are due by September 11th. So still have a few weeks to do yeah, that. Got a little time yet. Yeah. Um, the other part of that is these grants are made possible by members dues. So we have members that make a contribution of $120 a year. Half of that goes to immediate grants and the other half goes to help um, provide needs in our community. So the grants applications that we get, half of those dues will be used to support those needs immediately. Um, and those membership dues again can be made, payments can be made online, checks can be sent in. Um, if you're interested in this and have not been a part of this group, we'd love to have you join us. If you're a member of the group and you haven't paid your 2023 dues, get those in so that we can make sure and and have dollars to grant out to these organizations. And the exciting thing that we're looking forward to this year is our annual granting event will be on September 28th. And what better place to do video grant applications than the Times Theater? Ah, uh, perfect so location. We're going to have the annual event there. It'll be 6 p.m. that on the 28th of September. It'll be here before you know it. It'll be here before we know it. Um, invitations are in the process of going out, so keep an eye on that. Let us know if you're able to make it. Um, and we'll look forward to having a good event that evening. So again, applications due September 11th, get your dues in, and we will make some good things happen. This group has already granted um, in its time in existence from those annual $120 dues per member over $80,000 in miles. It's amazing. So it's neat to see that happen. Yeah. So something else that's been fun um, this summer we've been doing a Facebook scavenger hunt. Oh yes. So check out Northern Indiana Community Foundation. I will say a disclaimer, we normally put that up on Wednesday morning. <laughs> um, due to logistics, it will be Wednesday afternoon today uh, before the new location is posted, but um, early to mid-afternoon, keep an eye ooh. on Northern Indiana Community Foundation. Mm -hmm. Page and so let's see, see, give a clue there. Logistics see, issue. See how much you know about Fulton County and see if you can win some prizes. So, we've been having fun with this. This is just an opportunity to highlight some different areas um, around the community that we've been able to provide with grants. So, I know we mentioned the Times Theater, there was a sign up there for, for a week. Um, that was a pretty simple one. <laughs> I think but the they're last all two, not going to be that simple. The last two may be a little bit challenging, so we're going to see how well folks know our communities because they're a little bit more cryptic than the last couple of pictures. Uh -oh. But we've highlighted the the Times Theater. Last um, week we wrapped up the Kiwana Food Pantry. Of course, another significant grant the foundation had helped with in the past. Um, this week we'll announce this afternoon who got the right answer because I know we had at least a couple folks that knew the right location and shared it and all those things but um, I think the last two will be a little bit challenging. Okay. There may be multiple, my only clue is there may be multiple locations that look like the one location that is correct. Ooh. So keep an eye out for that. Do some work on this. A little fun. So um, holding this up, Dakota's here in the studio yeah. videoing this. It doesn't translate so well, video on the microphone. But, it's a book. Um, our annual report for 2022 just came out, so um, keep an eye on the mail for that. You can get um, annual report postcards. Um, we do have that on our website if you 
didn't get either of those or um, if it hasn't shown up yet, but check out NICF.org and you can see our um, 2022 annual report. It um, has a theme, Artfully Crafted. Ooh. So you'll see some familiar names in here with some pretty cool drawings and paintings and artwork um, and performance art and all of those things. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit about some grants and maybe some art later on in the program, but um, we're really excited. It, it's a neat um, recap of some of the things that we were able to accomplish in 2022. Yeah. So awesome. Something else that's coming up, um, the Food Pantry Summit. This is something that we've been doing to provide resources for our area food pantries, um, not only Fulton County pantries, but um, all the area that we serve and sometimes those regional partners that we work with. So um, that'll be coming up on October 12th. So if you're involved in a food pantry and would like to be involved in that, let us know. We'd love to have you join us um, for that event. Um, try and provide some resources, <laughs> try and provide some information. Um, one thing that we've seen is it makes connections between food pantries. So pantries serving the whole area of Fulton County. Um, are able to make connections with other pantries, build relationships, uh, build resources, sometimes share food, share information, um, a good time with that. So just making each other better. Just making each, helping each other out. Yes. That's what it's all about. So um, another application that we have coming up is our Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship application. It's a big one. That's a big one. That is available now. So students, check that out. Well, Students should probably be in school at this point, so right, don't right. check it out while you're supposed to be doing your classwork or homework. family members, passing yes, along. parents, grandparents, interested parties, friends. Um, that application is available now. Um, again, NICF.org, and you can click on the scholarship page for each county and fill out that application. The deadline for that is September seventh. There's some little more work involved. A little more work them. involved with this, so you may want to check it out if you haven't already started that. Um, that whole process can be completed online, but um, please make sure that you check that out. So if there's pieces of information that you need to provide to us, that you have time to do that. So, but again, NICF.org. Um, that deadline is September 7th. If students have difficulty with any of the process. Um, Shannon Berger is our scholarship coordinator. Please feel free to reach out to Shannon with any questions that you may have, um, and we will try and help however we can. Brian, just a quick summary of what that does. What what yeah. is what is great, that? Great question. So this is a this is a program. Lily Endowment actually started this. Um, 1998 was the first year they offered this scholarship. So this scholarship pays for full tuition. Um, it does not include room and board. But a lot of times colleges will include that if a Lilly Scholar, that, that disclaimer, check with your college um, before you decide on that. But um, it pays for full tuition for undergraduate students. You do need to be in, attending a college in the state of Indiana, um, a four-year college. And then there's also a $900 a year um, stipend for things like books or required materials for classes. So awesome. um, a really a really great scholarship. We're very appreciative to the Lilly Endowment for helping provide this scholarship. Um, and really their goal is to, to help make education more attainable for everybody in the state and raise that edu that attainment level. And it's been very successful in doing that. And that is a statewide thing. Too. It is a every, statewide thing. Yeah. It's, it's, Every Each county. county that has a community foundation, and I'll say every county has a community foundation, at least one community yeah. foundation, um, is eligible for this, and it's based on the population. So if you get into the larger communities, they may have more than one. This year we have one, but um, it's four county residents, um, students that are graduating um, in 2024, cool. and planning to go on to study at, like I said, at a school in the state of Indiana. Awesome. Um, so really exciting, very appreciative um, for Lilly Endowment and their continued support of education in our community. And um, it's, it's really neat to see now that this scholarship program has been going um, over 20 years now. We're almost getting 25 with this program um, to look at the number of previous recipients that are in our area now. We have 
quite a few students who have graduated and have chosen to come back to the Fulton County area um, or the immediate surrounding areas and make an impact in our community. Um, so we're very appreciative to those students that have done that as well. So uh, September 7th, remember to get that get done in. by that point. So something else we've mentioned a few times, um, Charity Tracker, part of what the Community Foundation does is try to provide some resources for organizations. Um, we mentioned like the Food Pantry Summit. Um, Charity Tracker is another example. We've partnered with the United Way on this to help provide this um, for organizations. <coughs> um, it helps organizations um, share information, be more efficient, um, better serve the clients that they're helping. So if there's nonprofit organizations that have heard of it or have not heard of it and are interested in it, let us know either um, get with the Community Foundation or United Way and we can get you details on how that works and um, we'd love to help provide that service. It's no cost. Um, again, our partnership with the United Way, they've taken care of some of the fees, we've taken care of some of the fees, so it's no cost to organizations that are in Fulton County serving Fulton County folks. So Take advantage. Take advantage. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention We've been able to, to partner with the Chamber of Commerce to provide some nonprofit training. Um, that's been great. Appreciate the, the Chamber's support on that aspect and appreciate all the organizations that have been um, participating in this. We had a, a somewhat limited number that we had space for, but um, have had good feedback. So kind of one of those pieces, a lot of times people come to us and say, hey, I need money for a project. And sometimes they're not always coming to us for money, but they're coming to us for other resources. So this has been a great partnership to, to be able to um, help provide some training and resources for our area nonprofits. So again, um, when we talk about partnerships, thanks to United Way for the Charity Tracker Partnership, thanks to the Chamber of Commerce for um, partnering with this nonprofit workshop series. So, well, we want to talk a little bit about grants today. Mm -hmm. We talked about grants last month, and yeah. apparently we have more grants that we we're able to give out. That's a, that's a great problem to have. That's a great problem to have. So <laughs> we've got a lot of great organizations in our community um, doing some really great things. So I wanted to talk about um, some of our community grants, but also some of the other funds that help make grants. Um, we started, it was 2010 when we started and gave out the first grants in 2013. Um, the Kiwana Union Township Endowment Fund. Mm -hmm. So this is a fund that was created by local individuals um, and these grants are made to support projects specifically in the Union Township area. So it's neat to see how that, we talk about Fulton County dollars, we talk about Fulton County community grants that are specifically for things helping Fulton County. This is even at the more local scale, those donors that have given specifically for needs in Union Township are able to make those grants through this fund. So we have local individuals that participate on this committee that, that look at some of the grants and um, this year we're able to provide two grants. Um, one was for the Kiwana Union Township Public Library. Sure. Great organization in Kiwana. If you've been over to Kiwana stop by the library, say hi to Charlie and his crew over there. They've always got something going on, but um, I had a chance a couple weeks ago to spend some time with Charlie and, and Linda, who runs the summer reading program, and um, they're excited about books. So this grant from the Kiwana Union Township Endowment Fund um, was provided to the library at $1,600. Um, part of one of the neat things they have that go that happens during the summer reading program is they're actually able to give kids their own books. Oh, wow. So every week they go in and they can see different books and, and they've been able to purchase this with this grant. So um, a really great program. They had great participation this year. Um, a lot of students now have their own books that they can take home and they can keep and read whenever they want to. And, a really neat program. So you, you talk about literacy. I heard the Rochester schools this morning talking about literacy in our community and how how important that is. If you can't read, you can't learn. Yeah. Um, that may be an oversimplification, <laughs> but the better you can read, the more right. 
opportunities you'll have to learn. And I, I, our family loves to read, and so the summer reading program is a great thing for kids in the Kiwani area. Um, another grant that we're able to provide, actually, <coughs> we're able to partner with a couple of funds. So the Kiwani Union Township Endowment Fund. We also have some health and wellness funds that help provide for needs in the community. Um, the Kiwana Fire Department, we were able to provide a grant of $1,650 for the purchase of two cold water rescue suits. Awesome. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to use or train with one of those. Train with, but, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a great thing for the department. It's basically a big suit yeah. that goes over and you're waterproof up to about your nose. <laughs> the firefighter is. There are some things that they can use to help somebody if they fall through the ice. I know today is the perfect day for ice on Lake Manitoba. And yeah, if there's some uh, your glass with we'll, your, we'll, with we'll your cold beverage. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when we start thinking about the time where the lake freezes over or those ponds, and um, if you fall in ice, it's not that simple to get back out. No. And you need to be able to get out in a hurry because there are bad things that happen when you get cold. So, this is a suit that allows the fire department to actually rescue somebody who's in that situation, keep the firefighter safe because you don't want to have a firefighter getting cold right. in the water and experiencing those same things, but um, to quickly be able to get to somebody. So we appreciate, um, I have the opportunity to see volunteers doing really great things. Um, you think about there's not much greater than somebody that says, hey, I'm willing to risk my life yeah. to help save your life. And right. that's what fire departments do. So I appreciate the fire department. I hope they never have to use it to save right. me, but it's nice to know that they have that. Yeah. So, um, another fund that's similar to this is the Liberty Township Endowment Fund. I bet you can't guess what area uh, those grants are. Liberty Township, maybe? Hey, Liberty Township. Pete Randy is on oh, it today. Hey. So, a plus day today. So um, the Fulton area, um, this year we actually had two grants as well. Um, another library grant for the Fulton Library for a sensory project um, for $600 to allow them to buy some equipment that will help students. We, we talk about reading, but there are other skills that can help reading and learning as well. And so this is a, a neat kind of a hands-on project that they've been able to offer for um, children and youth in that community. And then the other one that we were able to grant from this fund this year was $2,000 for um, a roof for the concession stand at the, at the Fulton Athletic League. Awesome. If you've been down there, you know a concession stand is a critical part of the <laughs> league. Uh, yes. Um, when my children were younger, the first question was, what was your favorite thing about your game tonight? And it was always going to the concession That's stand. Right. What, what treat did I get tonight? So. Um, we appreciate the group down there. They've actually had an increase in numbers and students participating and players playing this year. Of course, that's baseball and softball that they have down there. And um, a really great place to go in the summer and watch a baseball game. Um, but we were able to provide $2,000 for that organization to replace the roof on that concession stand. So um, thanks to the donors that have given to these funds and made these grants possible thanks to the organizations and individuals involved that make these grants possible so we said we'd talk about art 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 is also awesome. talking about some community funds yes. we've got these cool banners hanging downtown yeah, yeah. And in rochester that will be up for this nooka play art and music festival that's happening this weekend how appropriate so um, we were able to provide a grant from our community funds um, of $7,500 to help support the festival. So 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. this Saturday. Yeah, Come all check, day. It check it out. Um, will be a lot of art opportunities for children, youth. Um, I think the school choir is going to be here. Yeah. Um, some pretty cool music acts. So yeah. if you like music, I'm guessing the folks are listening to WRI. They probably like music, so come check out some come check out some music this weekend. Um, it's gonna be beautiful like weather too. Looks like it's gonna be the heat is gonna yeah. be gone. Yeah. Come out, enjoy um, all the way up to 11 p.m. that evening. We've got a variety of musical acts, anywhere from choirs to bands. And, come and go as you please. It'll it'll be a good time. So check that out this weekend in downtown Rochester, 11 a.m. 11 p.m right across the road yep. from WROI. Yep. Right there on the lawn. And bring your chairs, your blankets. Yep. 
some opportunities to participate in yeah. some art projects if, if you have children that, that like art. Um, and so it'll be a good time. So I'd encourage folks to check that out. Another thing that's happening, um, we'll have, this will happen before our next radio program, but the Kiwana Fall Festival. Yes. Another great opportunity to check out some different things. That's a, a great thing for the town of Kiwana. We're able to provide another grant of $7,500 to help support this project. Um, if you've not been there, you you'll should. be amazed at how much goes on during that weekend, and that'll be coming up. Um, some things will be starting on um, Friday, September 22nd, and events go all the way through the 24th that Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, things like music again, <laughs> have some bands there, entertainment, um, rides, food. Fun get-together. Fun get-together. I know the library I talked to Charlie the other day. They were playing in the book giveaway, awesome. some, some things like that. Things going on in the park all weekend. So check that out. It, it's a great time, great family entertainment. And one of the neat things about that is, um, actually the neat thing about both of these festivals is the free family entertainment yeah. that's available. Um, absolutely free. The, there are some things, food vendors and things that you can purchase, but a family can really go 